This opportunity came up to be in the downtown market, so I launched an ice cream business. Well, I love ice cream because it's a simple indulgence. Uh, it reminds us of our childhood. I always latched onto the phrase that everyone loves ice cream. It might not be true, but I, I think it's pretty universal. That was sort of what propelled me into this because I thought I could make something that probably most people like. The moment was when I brought my samples of product to the leasing committee for the downtown market in Grand Rapids, and they gave me rave reviews, and I thought, all right, they, if they like it, I know I can do this for, you know, I think the general public will like what I do. I ran into a lot of snags and snarls with the regulation, and so I wanted to bring someone from MSU into the loop to start talking about these things to help me understand them better and maybe fast track it a little bit. And I needed some help from the product center to help me um, find some containers for, for my products to help me source organic fruits uh, and produce that we use in our flavors, um, things like uh, Michigan's known for cherries and nuts and you know all these great produce items that we use every day here. I needed to focus on the business and it was nice having a product center person to uh, kind of bounce ideas off and say, hey, could you travel down that road a little bit while I'm working on these other things? And, and I think that's been a, a nice resource to have. One big piece of the business that's really growing is the vegan side or the non-animal uh, product ice cream because there's a lot of people who choose for diet reasons or philosophical reasons to skip animal products and we've met that need and exceeded it and it's been overwhelming to me to see um, the response from those products. It puts a smile on my face when I come into work. First of all, I have a really great team that takes care of this place like I do. You know, we have parents who come up and they say, our six-year-old boy has never been able to go eat ice cream with us every time that we've gone out for dessert. But now that we have found you, we can come here now and he can delight because he doesn't have to worry about, you know, either, you know, whether it's a nut or a dairy or whatever food allergy they might have. Um, yeah, it's about the ingredients. Loves ice cream, cares about culinary approach, and cares about the ingredients. And that's what really, really matters to make a great quality ice cream product, whether it's vegan, whether it's not vegan. You have to start with really exceptional ingredients and there's not a lot of other makers of ice cream doing that. My name is Chris McKellar from Love's Ice Cream and I want to thank the MSU Product Center for nominating us as a startup to watch. Thanks everyone, we're looking forward to a great year.